NFL 24, and we've got the Dolphins, Rocket on quarterback. There were plenty of highlights for him in last week's game. Nearly 500 yards through the air. It's the Dolphins and the Eagles, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any no, given check. play. That's why so many check. scouts preach arm check. talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. You look at this Eagle defense. And right now in the National Football League, they're ranked number 18 against the pass. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, that's sir. Defense. Come on. Second, get back. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football Automatic down to the spot Here of the foul. Go. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the Ready? ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Give them maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. On second down, a run by a champ. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. From the two, here's first and goal. Day Chan. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Second and goal at the six-yard line. Ready? One more time with A-Chan. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Dolphins will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass 
position of authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there. And let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. The numbers for him from a week ago. 15 carries, 56 yards. It's a pretty mediocre week for him on the ground. Certainly a boon to his offense if he can get a little more output on his touches this week. He should get some more early carries as his team tries to get him into a rhythm. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, third and a yard. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now hang on here, because DeAndre Swift injured on that last play and in need of a little assistance. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. Jalen Hurts, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits are on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. Extra point up and through by Myers. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So Miami coming out for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Off the play fake, Matthews. Throw left side complete. That's Myers. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Miami, it's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Running right, here's A-Chan. 
There he goes, right side. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Devon Achan, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. We know it's primarily a passing league now, but anytime a runner breaks one like that, you've got to have a secondary that can find a way to him and find a way to get him on the ground. Absent of that, he's going to find the end zone every time. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the drive finished off with a touchdown run from Devon Achan. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They'll start with the option. Pushing his way inside the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Hurts. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Devon A. Chan of the offense ready to go once again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. 71 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. On first down, back to HM. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Off play action. Matthews. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll make it third down. One to double. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Ready? Off the play fake, Matthews. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving, and then some. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. And that's a big pickup on the first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the okay. stop here. 
Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. A give left side. Here's A-Chan. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The Dolphins at 1-0 and on the year following okay, the win ready? in week one. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so ready? much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily they, done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your... Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. This offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Looks good on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. to After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll drop the throw. He'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of first. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's Hill on the return. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Sack. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Let's go. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Off play action. Matthews. That's into the hands of Waddle downfield. Now a timeout taken. 
Hopes a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Off the play fake. Matthews. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Caleb Farley. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, and it's the Bills who have the lead in that one. Josh Allen has thrown two touchdown passes. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. A couple of touchdown passes there for Joe Burrow. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And that one, all tied. making their final adjustments before the second half. So, time for us to go back downstate to Miami and rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On first and ten, it's Swift. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. So first and ten now from the 30. On the option to give to Swift here. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's a second and nine now for the 29. He'll look to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. No, oh, nifty. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with career touchdown number 70. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. And that CD one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him, but he just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness, all on display right there. Look like you, partner, back in your salad days in Evansville. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, 
maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Hey, Chan here. They stay on the ground. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Off play action. Matthews. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaking up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll give this to champ. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It goes as a loss of six, and now third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. First throw now for the backup lock. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in his third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Swift going to try at the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 62 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. 
reads the play, and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 36. 11 yards for number 11. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now back to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he'll have a gain of three to the 33. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 13-yard line. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. From the five, here's second and two. They'll look to throw here. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? Touchdown, Eagles! DeAndre Swift, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield, made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Myers connects on the PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now they can't bring him down. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Devon A. Chan in the offense ready to go once again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Again, it's a champ. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now is the go time? I think now is the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? Now look at this. They get the turnover they need. It's intercepted. Picked up by Caleb Farley. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. But first down, Hurts. Smith catches left side. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Here's first and goal. Touchdown. 
Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. On oh, a huge mistake late, it's intercepted. And now look at him go. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six on the Dolphins touchdown. to try to end the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by 10. A minute 47 on the clock. The turnover does give them life, but they still need two scores. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. Pass complete. Goddard. Second and six coming up. He'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw again. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They go play action with Hurts. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about it if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Hurt sets up to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Here's first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Hurts. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point up and through by Myers. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And the Dolphins are indeed going to get this, and that should all but do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. 
They'll actually throw it with Locke. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Well, the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. And he is caught. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Back to throw. Lock. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. To throw is Lock. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here. It's a throw for a late touchdown. And that score should be the proverbial icing on the old cake. What kind of cake? I go white cake, peanut butter frosting. I like the way you think. And I think they may celebrate with exactly that cake when this game's over. I'm going down to the locker room. <laughs> Things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get